The first of the Group 1s in on FWD Champions Day is the Chairman's Sprint Prize. $18 million on the table, 1,200 metres so the trip in the field, headed by Dan on Smash. Of course, one here back on International Day, beating Jolly Banner into second place. The nine-year-old Ricky Hugh Matthew Poon, he'll jump from Barry 11. Wishful Thinker finished fourth in that race. A computer Patch finished in sixth. Rattan finished third. We haven't seen him since December. Wellington, beaten favourite in the Sprint Cup last time out. Behind Amazing Star, who scored 178 to one. Strong a flash home to run second uh, on that occasion with beauty applause and sky field further back in the pack he'll jump from barrier one though sky field jolly banner computer patch and amazing star time of the horses that have been up at chung Fro's clearly agreed uh, with him how do they line up here speed wise well, i think computer patch is probably the, the likely leader in the the race from uh, gate number seven he's got uh, good enough for gate speed to uh, cross here for matthew chadwick beauty applause might be too far away and Voyage Warrior, you'd expect somewhere to be handy as well for Ruin Meyer out of gate number six. Stronger, should get a perfect run, I think, uh, just behind the speed from uh, his draw of gate at number eight. Big Party, Ratten on that uh, three wide line with Fat Turtle. Uh, Dan on Smash should be probably back of midfield, maybe midfield with Wellington and Skyfield uh, just ahead of him there on the inside. Dan and Smash, we'll have a look, he's arrived in great order here. Dan and Smash, Joe Marrera board and stretched out nicely in this piece of work as well. Uh, this was his last final uh, sort of serious piece, and he looks good. They haven't really extended the Japanese horse since they've been here, but a nice piece there. Wellington uh, is the next one we're going to have a look at, see if he can bounce back after his last start. He goes nicely here as well. We, this is how he normally works, so just normally some slow work, and this is what he's doing once again, Wellington, so no change for him. And uh, Voyage Warrior, quite like this piece. He's stretched out nicely with Ruin Meyerboard, and he's, he'll be right in the pace, so I think he'll put himself into the race as well. Voyage Warrior, he looks good, as you'd all expect, and ready to go. All right, we'll have a look at some of the races in a moment or so. Let's start off, though, with trainer of Wellington. That is uh, Richard Gibson, right after the barrier draw on Thursday. Richard, you've got two runners coming up in the Chairman's Sprint Prize. Let's start with Ratten. We haven't seen him for a long time. Why yeah. is that? Yeah, it's, you know, it's interesting. We've got two runners, and uh, they couldn't be more different. We've got one, one young horse who's just starting out on his, on his Group 1 career, and... And hopefully, you know, Rattan, it might be one of his last days in, in these big events. So um, we're going to enjoy it while we can. He's a horse that does go well fresh, Rattan. So does that give you some confidence? Yeah, you know, unfortunately we had a, a very rare training injury with this horse uh, a couple of months ago. Uh, he's done very well to get back into shape to run in the race. Um, but I always feel it might be a, you know, a little bit short of work for this race. Nevertheless, he's been a great horse for your stable, Rattan, uh, hasn't he's, he? Um, you know, he's a terrific horse and... He produces everything on race day, so I don't really look too much into his track work because um, uh, on race day he always gives us all. What about Wellington then? What did you think of his run in the Spring Cup, Richard? You know, you, know, you, you, can't, you can't hide your, your disappointment. Uh, you know, you've got to take those days on the chin. Um, we can spin it any way we like. Um, I kind of came out of the race thinking everyone learnt a bit more about the horse. Horse learnt a bit more. Trainer learnt a bit more and jockey as well and it's um you know, these horses have, have got to prove themselves um on the day so he's got a better draw on sunday uh so uh optimism in the camp would probably be a bit higher than it would be than the previous stop are you satisfied with what he's done at home since then yeah absolutely it's a quick turnaround we've only got 20 days uh he's already had you know uh he's already done plenty this year so he's just had a light prep for the race do you go into the race thinking down on smash is the one to be you know, we, 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 you know, in Group 1 level, we respect everybody. You know, Daniel Smash, uh, it's terrific. He's, he's come here. He's proved it before he can do it in Hong Kong. Uh, you know, he's going to be a mighty ad adversary to beat. He most certainly is, but uh, maybe Wellington's the one to beat him. Let's refresh your memory, though, with that win back in uh, December. Uh, Tom, brilliant ride from Ryan Moore this day from barrier number 14. But Rattan finished in third, chased him home strongly. Jolly Banner in second. There was more in it than, than just the four uh, mentioned here. But... Can they turn things around, do you think? Yeah, basically they were all in. I don't think they can. Uh, before the, the draws were out, uh, I, I didn't honestly care what draw uh, Dan on Smash uh, drew because he won from 14 last time out. He's drawn perfectly here to get a, a lovely run through from gate number five. He drew away from the rest of them here. The, the rest of them were scrapping it out for second, third and fourth. He's just got the class factor, Paul. I think he'd be incredibly tough to beat. Yeah, and since he's, he did that, he went back to Japan and won a group one as well. So if he brings that Japanese form here, he's going to be very tough to beat. OK, well, here is that uh, Japanese running natural factor, Paul. On very different ground as well, but just showing his, his versatility, I suppose. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it, yeah, different ground and different way around, isn't it? So, look, it, it was a nice uh, 
a nice, uh, really good win from him. And he's a top-class Japanese sprinter. So you can show he's done it on this ground. He's done it here at Charlton before. So, look, he just looks really tough to beat. Yeah, it was a, a top-class performance on this occasion as well. And he looks like a horse that's just got better with age. He's now a, a six-year-old. He looks like he's just uh, matured and improved a heck of a lot. He actually drew barrier 14 for that um, as well, but he does get barrier 5 this time round. Um, this race, though, the Sprint Cup with amazing star at 178 to 1. So Wellington was uh, our favourite. He's in the field there as well, but stronger. Um, this is a decent effort from him, Tom. Absolutely was, and he was held up at a crucial point in the race as well. You can see he's in the outer part of the track here at the, the 250, and in a, a second or so, Vincent Ho switches down to the inside to try and uh, find some McClare air. He was really powering home. He's not a, not a real big uh, scopey horse, but uh, he looks like he's really improved. He's still only a four-year-old, Paul. Yeah, and it was a really good run from Stronger, and he's been working well since. So he's definitely one of the chances of the race, there's no question. Yeah, they're all basically lining up uh, once more, but it is... Dan on Smash at 1.9. Sounds like you're all over it. Yeah, I, I like uh, Dan and Smash. He's on uh, top for me, the Japanese, to beat Wellington to see if he can bounce back uh, from that run. Uh, stronger uh, in there for third. And then Voyage Warrior, he's won. He'd be at a decent price too. I think he'd be right on the pace. 1, 6, 10, 11. I'm with Dan on Smash as well. You can't tell me he's going to go around at 1.9 because uh, that uh, looks a gift of a price at the moment. Uh, really, the, the way he performed here in December and uh, should he run well here, I think connections are keen to come back again. So Dan on Smash to beat stronger. Wishful Thinker I thought was really good last time out. He was uh, pretty good, I thought, in the international sprint as well and Wellington there on a minor line after that disappointing run last start. So 1, 10, 3 and 6. Got to respect Dan on Smash, of course, but I'm happy to uh, to give Wellington a pass on that last start effort and think he can turn it around. Six and one is my cue there in the chairman's sprint prize.